Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some cottage bakery brand. These are towering cakes, uh, cake slices is how they refer, they refer to them. These are from the Fresh Market. So when you go to the Fresh Market and you go to their bakery, they don't say cottage bakery on them. However, I asked, I said, do you all make these here and she said no they come from new york she said um all of our cheesecakes are junior's cheesecakes junior's brand mm -hmm. cheesecakes which we've reviewed on the channel and she said these towering cakes are uh from cottage bakery in new york and mm -hmm. she said they come uh, to us in great big cakes and we slice them up and put them in the containers this is what the containers look like um, so you can buy them by the slice. Now this huge slice, or big slice, good size slice. There are six. Price says how much it is. It's six ninety nine each. No, it's eleven ounces. Three hundred twelve oh, grams. Yeah, it tells you. Yeah. Uh, well, they uh, they all weigh the exact same thing as far as what this says. You think that's right? Yeah, probably. Well, that one weighs a little different. See, it's three seven. But it's no, still it's three Yeah, it's still the. It, they're all six dollars ninety nine cents, so seven dollars a slice. Mm -hmm. But we have the double chocolate cake, the coconut cream, and those are both six layer cakes. The lemon blueberry. That's that one. And the carrot. Right, and those are three layer cakes. So, and they also had, I know they had a birthday and a red velvet as well. Yeah, they did have a red, I remember the red velvet for sure. So. Because um, I was saying we should get one that's chocolate. Chocolate. So we were going between red velvet and chocolate, so we just got the chocolate. The double chocolate, yes. So, uh, that's pretty much all I can tell you about it though, because it just says distributed by the fresh market, but now I, I found out where it was made for you all, and I was curious too. Yeah. Uh, where are they getting these? Cool. So. Okay. So we just get to sit here and eat cake. And I got a huge chunk. I you don't know why. I have no idea. Let me get the side. Mm. That is why we call them nice chocolate cake. Yes, it's very rich. Moist too. It's not dry at all. No, not at all. But it's soft. It's mm. very soft. It's not dry. Um the chocolate is very sweet mm -hmm. um i want to get some of these little chips yeah there's little chocolate chips i want to get some chocolate chips but i don't know how to go about doing that yeah go through there because i want some cake with it too mm. yeah we're just gonna roll this around on this mm. more. <laughs> don't choke on the chip mm. <laughs> i love that that Hmm. Those chips have a lot of texture to them. I think that's a delicious piece of cake. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing wrong with that. I, mm -hmm. I'm, and two people could eat all that. Oh, absolutely. Like Kevin and I could just half that mm -hmm. and call it a night. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. It's very good. And it's I don't sweet. want to know how many calories it is, though. <laughs> yeah, we don't know. I don't want to know. I will have a picture at the end of all the ingredients for you of each one of these, but I do not have calories. Mm -hmm. I do think it would be great if they would give you the calories per slice. I would say it's going to be about as much as you would get in a slice of cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory. Probably. Probably about a thousand calories a piece. It's a very sweet, but I, it's very sweet, but it's not overwhelmingly sweet because the chocolate's not super sweet usually. Anyway, um, but it's it's sweet enough for There's sure. There's nothing bitter about it. No, no it's, it's more wonderful. than milk chocolate. It's very rich chocolate. So now this one looks very moist as well. This is the coconut cream. You go first. No, you go. You the, sure? The, I got the chocolate in there from the when I touched that one. Okay. It almost looks like cool with fondant. Mm-mm. No? Frost, mm -mm. Actual frosting? Mm -hmm. The frosting is nice too. The chocolate's hard to tell because it's like a chocolate ganache. Hmm. It's definitely not cool whip. It um no, but it's not as thick as like a buttercream. No, it's no. Do you want to like coconut? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause it is coconut. Yeah, it's it's thick like a it's thick like a frosting, but it's kind of whipped up like a like a cool oil. That's what I was gonna say. It's whipped up, so it's not like um, it's not your traditional thick frosting, but 
it, yeah, it has a whipped up texture, but it's not like Cool Whip at all. It's, oh. it's not, um, it's, it's heavier than that. Mm -hmm. It's heavier, it's sweet, much, much sweeter. Um, and you get the, the shreds of coconut. Yeah, it's all through it. Um, I didn't get any cake bites. That's so. what I was trying. Yeah, um. I mean, you can get the whole, the whole bottom layer. It's just cake. The cake is good. It's, it's your basic white cake. It's not, it's not super sweet or anything. It's just a, it's a basically a holder for the frosting and the coconut. That's what I think too. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a good, um, holder. Like um, it's, it's a little bit, um, of a denser cake because so it has thinner layers. Mm -hmm. And so when you get thin layers like that, it's not going to be, it's not going to have the lightness and fluffiness of it. But you're not gonna normally eat it like I did either. You're gonna eat it with the frosting, mm -hmm. and it's delicious. Um, I got some of the chocolate with no frosting. It's it's really good just by itself. Oh, of the cake? Yeah. yeah. The chocolate cake has a lot of flavor. So, so far out of these two, which one are you choosing? You know, it's a toss-up because it really just depends on what kind of mood I'm in. It's mean, completely I, different, yeah. I probably would get the chocolate I if I had to. just one to buy out of those two. Yeah. I'd probably buy the chocolate. I love the coconut, but I would choose the chocolate over the coconut. They should put the ch coconut on the chocolate. That would be good too. Yeah. <laughs> good too. Uh, the next one is a lemon blueberry. Yeah, and there are blueberries all through the actual cake. And where this one is, um, it has only three layers instead of all these other layers. Um, it looks, um, honestly, looks it, like it looks like a sponge. Yeah, it, it looks like a sponge it, cake, which is what. Yeah, it looks like a sponge. <laughs> it's softer than a sponge, though. It's falling apart on you. Did you get a blueberry? I'm assuming that the the frosting is lemon. Mm. The very strong one too. You know, um, normally I, I've told you all before. Normally, I'm not a fan of lemon and blueberry. That blueberry is so light though. Because mm -hmm. the blueberry. You don't taste that. The blueberry is only in the actual blueberries. Mm -hmm. But I've got two blueberries just and now. You, still, you don't taste it at all. No, but the, at it's, all. it's because this lemon frosting is so strong. Yes. And that lemon frosting, it's mm -hmm. very fresh and zingy. Think about it up. Ooh. It's white chocolate chips. White chocolate chips, yes. So you get the texture like you did with the chocolate with those little bee chips. That's nice enough. Mm -hmm. So they could have left the blueberries out completely and just called it a lemon cake. It would have been just as accurate of a description. They could have. Um, and it's honestly, really the white chocolate's okay, but I like the lemon just on its own. I the think the only that, thing the chips do is add texture. Yeah, it really, I just really like that lemon, that zingy, fresh lemon. It's very sweet. And uh, there's nothing like cleaner, there's nothing bitter, anything like that. Mm -hmm. I really like that. I would call that cake by itself. Mm -hmm. That would be like a pound cake. Yes. No, I agree. Almost like, it's not quite as angel food cake, like a spongy, like really dense, mm -hmm. but it is like more of a pound cake. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's very It's still nice. very good. This one is just carrot, but it has... Um, it looks like it has like coconut on the bottom. It looks... What are those? Are those nuts or... Pecans? I don't know. Let's try one. Yeah, try one by itself because it looks like a raisin. It is a raisin. Oh, okay. Because normally with so carrot fair. cake, <laughs> yeah, normally with carrot cake, mm. uh, we use nuts, but it looks like they used raisin. I have nuts there too, though. Mm. It's delicious. But I don't think they used any nuts. Mm -hmm. I don't get the texture of them. Mm -mm. I love the spices they used in there though. They did a really good job with the spices. Cream cheese, raisins, crushed pineapple, but it's less than 2%. So you really don't get that. That's probably just add moisture. You mainly get the, um, the texture of the raisin, mm -hmm. but you do get it's a, kind of chewy. it is a very traditional flavored cream cheesy carrot cake, mm -hmm. except it just doesn't have nuts in it. And nope. so if you don't put nuts in yours, then you'll be used to it anyway. I like it with the raisins, honestly. Did you get any of this top? Because that mm -hmm. looks like coconut. Yeah. I, I don't get the flavor of coconut or even the texture really. It might be, but I don't really. 
it's not enough to really make a difference flavor wise. I get the texture of it though. It does feel like coconut. Mm -hmm. I like that. No, the uh, if you don't like coconut, I still think you could eat that because it's unless it's, you really have an aversion to the texture. Because it's so it's almost like a powder, mm -hmm. like a powder texture. Um, that is an absolutely delicious carrot. Yeah, I actually think that's my favorite one. Yeah, uh, that's mine too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah truly, and and it's really good. Normally, I wouldn't choose the carrot cake no. as my number one. But I tell you what, they I did, like it. They did a really good job on the spices. The spices um, are spot on. Um, the raisins really add a lot of flavor. And I'm impressed to with it. the raisins. Um, and I don't miss the nuts at all. But the cream cheese. The cream cheese frosting. The cream right. cheese is the star yeah. of the show, really. Yeah, and, and it's, it's not delicious. too cream cheesy. It's just very sweet. But it's, it definitely is cream cheese. You know it's cream oh, cheese. Oh, yes. And each one of these, mm, that's so good. Um, the uh, the frosting, they didn't skimp. They didn't try to go too thin. Yeah, um, no, it's pretty good thick layers. Even in the six layer ones, they're pretty decent size layers. I mean, the thickness of frosting uh, between them. Truly to goodness. All of them are good. Yeah, I would get and, any of them. And I know you'll want to know our order, but but they're all good, just so you know. But mm -hmm. somebody's always going to have to come in last. That's a lot. I bet you we're going to be the same. I'm going to say carrot number one, mm -hmm. uh, chocolate number mm -hmm. two. I'm probably going to go off of you here. I'm going lemon three, mm -hmm. and then coconut four. I agree. Oh, same order. Mm -hmm. And, and truly, there's nothing wrong with that coconut. There's nothing wrong with the coconut. The, my, my only problem with the coconut was the cake itself really didn't have a lot going for it. Right. It's kind of plain. It was the plainest cake yeah. here. And without whereas, the frosting, it really wasn't much right. of anything. Where all the other ones had a really rich flavor on their own, yeah. they didn't need anything with it. That mm -hmm. coconut did need something. Mm -hmm. with, it needed the frosting. You know, that's probably why we like the carrot and the chocolate is because the cake had so much The flavor. cake was so good on its own. Yeah. You tasted the cake and then you tasted the frosting too. Yeah. So good now, quality cakes though. You went to Cottage Bakery. You I went, went to, to the, the website. What I thought was their website. Of course, we don't. We never saw the box. They just came out and told us it was She the said it came in a white box and she said it was Cottage Bakery in New York. So yeah. Kevin looked up Cottage, Cottage Bakery, Bakery New, York. New York. It's not in New York City. It's somewhere else. In New okay. York. Um, but they, they, it looks like they have a store you can go into. It only had one re review on TripAdvisor and it was a five. Okay. Um, but they sell sandwiches and cakes, birthday cakes, cupcakes, all kinds of stuff. I did not see tall cakes. <laughs> That's why. I didn't see the round tall cake. So, so I'm not sure if it's the same place or not. Right. I don't know. Yeah. That's why uh, Kevin doesn't know for sure if that was the one, but it seems like Cottage Bakery, New York. It seems like that would be it. But then to not see these cakes for sale, then it's like, well, how is, where's Fresh Market getting them from? Mm -hmm. Well, just know, uh, these are absolutely safe to buy. Yeah, if you have a Fresh Market area, for sure. And if you if you are okay. interested in their cheesecakes, uh, they sell Junior's cheesecakes. Mm -hmm. And they also sell other slices of like, were they square looking cakes? Yeah. Um, she said the name of it. I just don't remember what I was talking about. Yes, was she did. She said it was from a different place. It was from but, a different but place. But they're thinner cakes. They're not like this tall cakes. They're yes. like thinner squares. Um, and they have like frosting and like toppings on them. Yeah. But I don't know where. I, I didn't know take said. note of that bakery because we weren't, <laughs> we weren't buying those. And Junior's is like something I'll remember. Yeah, Junior's. Yeah, I love and, Junior's. And those, uh, they, had, they sell those brownies like a killer, killer brownie. That's mm -hmm. what it is. Killer Brownie, they always sell those too. Yeah. But um That's a pie. I've I've really I've liked pretty much everything I think that we've gotten from the, the bakery. bakery. Yeah, yeah, I really have. It's interesting to know that they're they're not really making a lot of it. They're, it's no. being shipped to That them. it's being shipped. It's I wonder about them. the cookies and stuff they have out front and the little pastries and stuff. I, I know. Mean, I would think they those are those shipped are into it. Yeah, I'm sure those are shipped into it. But these came uh, I don't they, have a problem with that. I'm just saying I it's interesting. Either. They were right at the bakery, so they were refrigerated. So when I brought them home, I, I put the containers in the refrigerator mm -hmm. and I have not had these laying out so they are cold but they're, perfect. but they're perfect I think they're delicious and I think with that cream cheese you would want to keep it cold anyway yeah. uh, so you'll have to let us know if you've had any others uh, cakes or whatever from the fresh market definitely uh, or if you ever heard of the cottage bakery in New York yeah I think seven dollars for the size you're getting yeah because you could half these and two yeah pieces, like I said me definitely. and Tammy could eat this 
We could just sit here and split it. Yes, absolutely. Ball. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.